All right, this officer, Jameson Ross, he witnessed <clears throat> someone trying to fraudulently attain land. I was camping out, resting out behind a church. It was vacant, abandoned. It's within civil rights, section 241 and 245. The whole thing about defending civil rights to be able to well, it's a civil right to rest. It's a civil right to settle. It's a civil right to literally live. They, I went to church, I went to service, and they ended up trespassing me after service or whatever else. I asked them for more time to remove my things, and they said no, and they had an officer cane right in front of them. I asked them for more days, and I even told them that's Ninth Amendment violation for not giving more days, and this is right in front of a local officer. Again, witnessed violations by an officer. Nothing done about it. Fifth and Fourteenth Amendment violations, not to mention false accusations and false profiling. Jameson Ross did a little bit more research and found out they actually didn't have a right to kick me off. They didn't own the land. He even told me that they don't own the land. If you go back there, just don't walk through the property. So I found out that they didn't actually have rights to kick me off. I found the statutes. Here would be pull up the statutes. But I found some statutes for them to go off of. And I haven't heard reply from Holt, H-O-L-T, who I put in the affidavit of complaint, meaning I'm probably going to have to do another public records request to see if it got filed because I haven't heard reply from him at all. But the statutes, whatever else, right here. So two officers witnessed Kane, like the amendment violation, not allowing me to have an ample amount of time to gather my things. Not in dispute at all of, okay, they say it's their land, I'm just resting. They say no, I'm respecting the law and their use to use the law for their protection. But then they don't respect at all about having more time. So here's some statutes right here. And again, this is witnessed by Ross and Kane. This officer right here was a bit nice and kind. He replied, unlike other officers. So he actually put forth some effort to read and then also give an answer. Asking him for help, including this other guy named Chisel with the local PD. Chisel is somebody that works with some IT stuff. I've been getting bugged and a whole bunch of IT stuff. Again, I'm not trying to split up local, I'm not trying to split up government. It's just that government or individuals that are trying to portray as if they are government and other people are not have been committing many violations. So it's like they don't even know how to be a citizen, claiming that they don't know how to help people. And then as an officer, they're refusing to protect and or serve as if it's a kingdom, prejudices, with their own eyesight or whatever else, which would be briberies. There has been a lot of harlotry, briberies, sexual violations, including adults having sex with underage minors and advising underage minors to rape and violate other people and to commit crimes. I've heard about other court cases and other people as well being upset about such parenting, about such attacks, about such levying of wars. And it's a bit sad that it's my immediate family. But the reason why I'm putting this on YouTube is because out of everybody, him and Chisel seems to have been the most receptive about what's going on meaning in terms of honor or those that after witnessing such things or whatever else would try to do their best.